Okay, this is a quick review for the Optima HD 152X. So, this is it on the brackets. Bracket was bought from Amazon, about £13 something. It's really good, it's quite universal. You can hang it down from the ceiling, or I put it on the side of the wall there, but it's, it's pretty good actually. So, there's the projector, and it's the one with a sort of longer zoom on it so just sort of go under there it's all the all the usual bits on it you can look at any optima it's all pretty much the same look okay so that's that you can tell this is my first review because i'm actually rubbish at it so bear with me okay so this is a 72 inch screen and it's nine foot away from the projector. I didn't want a bigger screen because it, it'll, it's just too big. So there is the projector. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run through a couple of settings. Now bear with me, because I've never done a review before and I know I'm naff, but it's just to show you. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the menu settings, but here we go. So image settings, display, cinema. So you've got cinema, Vivid, and you should be able to see the picture changing. Game, reference, bright, and user. So I'll go back to cinema. The screen is absolutely fantastic on this Optima. I had a Epson TW6700 a couple of months ago playing games and everything just loads of lag it was 1200 pound this was 799 and this one completely blows it away so if i go on to sort of hd put something on here quickly i don't know if i'll get it so as you can see the picture is unbelievable and if i change it again and if you get a little bit lost, the good thing about this, you can just reset each individual display mode. So it doesn't reset the other ones you've done. And there's user. I don't even know if the phone's doing it justice, to be honest. I don't think it is. Um, and we'll go cinema again, just to try and... It's looking sort of a bit washed out on the, on this, so if I, menu, image settings, go here, so if we go to colour, and then just change the colour up a little bit here, there you go, look at that, and do a bit of contrast, take the contrast down a bit, the good thing about this is, if you go onto your PlayStation and the image size isn't set up right, what you can do, you can go onto your menu, go into your image. Let's just change that display. Cause I've, let's just change that. Let's put game there. Look, there you go. Okay, so if you go into your settings again and go onto... image shift what you can do so if the screen isn't fitting on playstation you can shift your image so, so if you watch the bottom i'll go up so the bottom of the screen is lifting up as you can see and you can move it back down and you can set each display to your liking and it holds each display on that setting because i thought when i went onto my playstation and the the sort of screen screen wasn't fitting the screen the display wasn't fitting the screen, so I adjusted it. I thought, okay, when I go back now to Xbox, it's going to be off. But it wasn't, because as you do it for each individual screen, it just stays like it. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's what Sky looks like. And if you go through some sort of... You know, if things play in different sort of... You know, depending on how they're filmed, obviously. So, you know, there's a couple of adverts and bits like 
there you go but the display is absolutely fantastic of right okay so this is playstation 4 as i said i've i've really haven't done reviews before so if it's all kind of a bit naff well, forgive me but i'm just trying to give you an idea about how good this thing is okay so i've got this all rigged up so now i shall go on to this system I'm using, the speaker system, is the Sony BDV-N790WB surround sound system. Absolutely fantastic again. So if I click this one to take it now onto the setting for the PS4. And now we'll go to HDMI 2 and then we'll press the selector. two three okay and if i turn on the playstation that may help that could help okay so here we go okay so the playstation's coming on now I fully recommend buying this projector. It really is fantastic. Not a lot of people sort of say this about the setups and stuff like this, but this one, because it's got a zoom lens, it's really good. You can have it sort of 12 foot and you can still get your 100 inch screen. You can actually really go down as well to sort of like quite small screens. And that's really what you want. A lot of people have problems because they have to have the projector in the middle of the room and they have these short throw ones I don't really know. And but So this one's really sort of quite versatile. So if I say Call of Duty, so I click on that, I can't play it because I'm uh, holding the phone with this hand. But I just want to sort of give you a demo of the screen, what it looks like. So just go back onto the campaign. I hope this isn't getting all too long-winded. I should try and edit this, I think. So, let's just let it load. Start the mission. Zoom game. And also, there's no lag whatsoever. Nothing, nothing. So, for gaming, it's absolutely brilliant. This can take ages. Okay, now that's, that's PS4. This is now... PS3. It can even make PS3 look fantastic again. Okay, PS3. So here we go. Look at this. Okay, so if we go onto a game, let's just say Outrun. Look how clear Outrun looks. I'm probably going to have to edit this somehow. Not even sure how. But anyway, you get some sort of idea what it's, what it's, what it's like, don't you? I don't think they're going to be headhunting me for Top Gear. Presenting that. <laughs> okay, so... Let's have a look. And I hope you get an idea of how clear this is. I just don't know what's going to come out like. Let's give it a bit of volume now. And here we go. Now I've got to do this with one hand, so it's it really is going to be quite naff. But it's just to show you that. Run mode. Okay, just to show you how clear this is. So this is PS3, 72 inch screen, nine foot away. Look how clear that screen is. Here we go. One hand driving. 
just to see that no lag, nothing. Look at this. Look. Okay. Okay. So now we come off that. And again, things like YouTube. Um, Netflix. Absolutely fantastic. Click on it. Leave the game. This is PS3. The objector is absolutely out of this world. It really is. Eight hundred pound. I mean, the Epson TW six seventy I had. It was it was a big projector, but and it was it was absolutely okay. I had to edit that bit because I sort of wiped out. If I say okay, so we're on Netflix now again on PS three. So, just another demo. If I say absolutely fantastic again, I'm going to actually punch myself in the face. I've noticed I kept saying it and I was just run through it. Okay, so, just a quick sort of play of this. Right. Just get another idea. It's just so good. So if you are thinking to get a projector, just really think no more. This is the one. This really is the one. So image settings, display. Let's have a look at cinema. See how that does. That's a bit better. See what's actually happening. Why it's looking a little bit washed out is because I've got the light off the phone shining on the screen. So that's what's actually why it looks a little bit. It actually really doesn't look like that in reality. The blacks are black and so image settings again, displayment. I think the best one really is what about user for a second? Is that dark not really? Cinema, I suppose. Okay, so that's that. So we'll go off the PS3. And I'll show you a couple more settings on the screen. In fact, I'll show you. Oh, did I show Xbox One? Let's have a look at Xbox One then. So let's turn this one off. that off okay Xbox one I've also got an Android box rigged up to this as well but if I start putting that on it's gonna we're gonna be here forever so this is um, Xbox one there you go. Home screen Xbox One. And again, it's just brilliant. YouTube. I also noticed something in YouTube the other day. I don't know how many of you know this, but if you get your screen, just see how the screen's sort of a bit sort of washed out. You can go onto settings here. And you can add, you can add your um, increased contrast. So watch the screen. Take it off, and it's like that. It's sort of washed out a bit again. Add the contrast. Everything's darker. Little tip. So we go back, back, go to here. And Forza Motorsport, just a quick look. I 
I don't really need to play it, I just want you to see the screen, how clear it is. I mean, the Epsom 6700, it was alright, but it's, it's just nowhere near this. 400 quid cheaper as well. I got it from box.com. They also do a finance option on that site as well. It's pretty good because you can pay it on with this um, credit company called uh, V12. So, you know, you can pay sort of like 20, £22 or something a month. So it's all pretty good. And that's uh, www.box.com, I think it is. So it's loading the track. Oh great. I haven't picked a, a wet one have I? As they actually said to the bishop. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we have action. Right. Again, a bit of driving in one hand. Start race. I bet you're all getting old watching this, aren't you? I didn't know I'd have to do a series of it. Okay, so... Maybe I should put the car on the screen. That might help. Okay, so that's just a, a little, you know... And I don't even think I'm in games mode. So if I switch on the games mode... Settings, again, display, game. There you go, it gets a lot more vivid, it really sort of pops out there. The menu will disappear after 10 seconds. So, a bit of one handed driving. This is going to go well. Very well, not. Anyway, it's not about my driving, it's about the projector. Obviously, try better in real life. That's why I'm still here. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So that's that. So now, if I go back, I come out of there, go back, and YouTube, quick click on YouTube. And you could, it really does sort of, you know, get into everything quite quickly. It's actually me who's messing it all up. YouTube. There you go. So if we look at something on YouTube. Uh, Floyd, there you go. What is that? The Google Pixel 2. Can I take a selfie just by saying take a selfie? Yep. Take a selfie, take a selfie, take a selfie. Will it ever do this? I mean, it really is that good. It really is. Okay, so I think that's about it. So if I turn the volume down. If you have seen part one, you know what this video is all about. Some of the funniest, saddest, and outright craziest post fight interviews that have ever taken place in the ring. Damn, right. I'm looking good. All right. Be sure to press the like button if you enjoy. And subscribe. I cannot recommend this projector enough. Okay, so a few more settings. Let's see what we've got. Enhanced gaming. Oh, you've also got the uh, Derby. The Derby. I forgot about that. So you go onto your image and you just keep going like so. And you go to Derby. And here it is. This is a new feature. It's really good. So you've got... in in. Let me... Just, Try and move this lens in now so you can see. So you've got mode. So we're in gaming. I don't know if you can do it. So it's full pop. So if we go on to demo, there's demo mode, split screen. Now watch. As it starts to play, watch what the Derby does. 
So if we go on to menu, image settings, and we go back to Derby, and then we'll have the display mode so it smooths across. As you can see that little arrow moving across, you can see what it's doing to the screen. So watch how clear he gets. So now he's gone a bit sort of faded. Now he's shining up a bit there. Look, it's getting more glossy. Down. Now gets more glossy, as you can see. And you can increase the intensity of it. So there you go, look. We're going across. So you can actually increase the intensity of it. So it really sort of zaps out. I don't like it too high, though, because it gives you that sort of, you know, sort of focus. So there's Derby. And there's Derby on. And as it comes back, it comes, takes it off for the demo mode. And as you can see, the face is getting more sort of glossy and more defined. And Okay, so if that cuts off... Okay, so where was I? Derby. I just sort of edited that bit. So, display mode. Go back. Display mode. Okay, so we go back to Derby, and this is the different things you can have in it. So you can have Derby full pop, off, high def, gaming, or full pop. And obviously you can change the degrees. That's on 93%. You can change the percentage or, or the strength of the Derby. And again, we'll look at the video. So it goes off the menu after 10 seconds, which is slightly irritating. You can only set it for 10 to 5 seconds. So let's go again onto Derby. Do the display mode. First you've got to go image settings. So we've got image settings. Now to Derby. So that's full pop, 93%. Let's go display mode so it splits over. And if we change percentage up to, I think there's 120. So there's 120. It's a bit rich for me. But there you go. You can see it as it goes across him. So it really does a great job. And it brings out all the definition, like on gaming and stuff. It brings out, especially on sort of football, rugby, that sort of stuff. But as you can see him, look, it just brings it out. So that's the derby for you. And back on there, and go back off the demo mode. Take it down a little bit. I, I sort of roll around about 65, I think, 65, 70%. But then saying that, that looks quite nice like that. I'll leave it like that for a bit. And what else we got? So you can reset the different bits. You've got brightness mode, dynamics, um, all the usual stuff, really. I think that's about it. Enhanced gaming, 3D, aspect ratio. So this is good because on the Epsom, you couldn't do it. It just sort of stayed automatic. There you go. Super wide. You can change the pictures. 4.3, 16 by 9, LBX. I don't know what that is. So it's all auto. And you've got all the bits on the menu. You've got your um, keystone. There's your keystone, which again, people never really show. Oh, zoom. So we'll do a bit of zoom. There you go. So there's the zoom right off the screen. There you go. So you've got plenty of zoom as well. There it is. That's your zoom. And you've also got another one called Edge. So if I had it there, you've also got the Edge setting as well, which is really handy. Uh, image shift, you know that, Edge mask. So you've got that one. And that's just, if you look at the screen there, I don't know if you can see it, I can just, you know, bring in the edges. See the edges coming in for the screen? So if you just wanted that fine adjustment, so you zoom and then, you you know, it's a little bit out, or a little bit over, you could just sort of creep it in a little bit. So you've got a good bit of, just to get it perfectly to the edge of that screen. So it's edge, edge Mask, another great little setting. Then you've got your keystone, obviously. Click on that one, and you know that's where you can sort of muck about. There you go, screen getting out of whack now. There you are, mucking about with that. 
so it's it's very very good to um to set up because it gives you so many more options i think this is why they they made the um optima 152x because it's just you know the epsom that i had i really i just bought it for that reason because it was only one that you could have a sort of you know i needed a 72 inch screen from a nine foot distance to remember that so if you were 12 foot back you can still get a 72 inch screen or a 100 screen i think it goes up to 300 inch screen so that's it for now i'm going to stop think of something else then come back again I might show you these little speakers here. I've got these pioneers. If I just take you round the room, so you can you can get a sort of perspective. And I will do it from the other side in a minute. Okay. And I'll get one of the projector and the screen so you can actually see the distance. Okay, just to just to finish it off now. Um, here's the lowering of the screen. You can see the television there, sky, hard drive player, DVD player, Xbox, the Sony sound system, and the uh, PlayStation 4. And sort of behind the telly, there's the uh, PlayStation 3. Now, if you want me to do a review on these Panasonic, these big speakers here, let me know. And if you like this video, which I doubt anyone will, subscribe and like. I'll do some more. Um, if you've got another year of your life to waste with me. <laughs> okay, so here's a load of the screen. And if I went up and over the ceiling, look, over the ceiling to the projector which is yeah okay so we go around the room so it's only that distance from there to there so it's just very close well it's nine foot and that television behind that screen is uh 60 inch 4k Okay, well, I hope you liked it in some sort of way, and um, I hope it helped, but really, buy this projector. And I was saying the place to buy it from is the uh, box.com, and if you ain't got the readies, do that finance, V12. Okay, good luck. I hope you enjoyed it.